Hey St. Lucia, good morning. Guess what, I'm here with a very dynamic bunch and I'm at the Vidbutai Primary School. And when I say dynamic, trust me, they are so full of energy. These individuals, well not 12, 11 very talented youth with me, they took part in their Calypso competition, which was held recently. And we were supposed to catch them, so we finally got the opportunity to. And trust me, I'm seeing why their competition was all the rave. But before, I think it's only fitting that we get to meet our future Calypsonians. And of course, we're going to get to know them a little bit better. So I'm going to go down the line and I'll start off with Jaden. <laughs> My name is Jaden Byron. I'm, I'm in grade five. My song was about to be a teacher to help the... To it so that teachers can be more proud of their students more often. Good. And what was the name of your song? I want to be a teacher. All right, perfect. Next. My name is Rohan Stanislas. I attend the Vidbutai Primary School. I am in grade five. My name of my song is Back to the Basics on Timetables. Like like long time ago when we was in TABC. Yes, yeah, so that's why the name is Back to the Basics. Let me tell you, see why I'm loving this group already? <laughs> my name is Desiree Baptist. I am in grade 6. Um, the name of my song is Education. It's about education is important. If you don't have education, you have nothing. Education is important to life. My name is Jessenia William. I attend the Vidbutai Primary School. Um, my song is about teachers, parents, everybody pushing children. They want them to be the best in common entrance. They want them to work, 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 work hard every day. My name is Jada Ale. Uh, my stage name was Smurfette. I chose that name because my father, his nickname is Gargamel, like in the Smurfs movie. <laughs> so I just took his name because I'm his daughter. So yeah, that's, and my song was about what all the violence happening, like the youth, all the bad things. So I was, I wanted to put that out to everybody to see how they can help our youth in becoming a better place and our country. So my song's name was "They Killing We," like with different things that's happening in our country. My name is Triana Age. My stage name was Chrissy. My song is about don't matter how your friends bad talk you, what they say about you, but strike for your goal, never let your parents down, because you know what you want to become in life. All right, perfect. And guess what? This is also our winner. This is our Calypso queen. I just need to point that out. So we're going to go down to Kiana. My name is Kiana Pierre. My stage name was the Mighty Kikim. My song was Take the Country Back. And my song was all about the violence our country is in and the people who need to put our country into a better place for us to walk everywhere, stop the violence and other things. Hi, my name is Angel Preville. My, my stage name was Silent Angel. My song is about my song is Mr. Bully and it's about how much children bully schools and we children in schools and we need to prevent that. My name is Nivea Clement. I attend the Vidbute Primary School. I'm in grade five and my song was about how rapists take away people's lives, poor and innocent people which can destroy their kids emotionally and mentally. My name is Ke Kevin Williams. I attend the Vidbutai Primary School. My stage name was My TK. And my song is all, was all about how my foundation and how you must obey your parents and be, you must come to school every day and on time. And the name of my song is Foundation. All right, great. And our last person. Hello, my name is Moshe Brown. My stage name is The Mighty Eminem. I chose this name because it makes me feel awesome and Eminem is my favorite snack. Perfect. So now we've met our Calypsonians. Right now I want to ask, how did it feel on the day? Anybody who wants to answer, you can raise your hand up. Oh, everybody. Okay. So let us know how it felt, you know, in that moment it was competition time. So of course I'll start off with our queen. I felt confident. I felt happy that the day came already. Um, 
It wasn't easy. It was hard struggle for a little while till I got it. Because my mom's a Calypsonian, she helped me, she helped me, she helped me until I got it right. And now I'm here today. One of my final questions though, there were a lot of topics which I think everybody can relate to, but it was also important issues coming from you all. Like, you know, having a role model, um, the violence, you know, crime and rape. So how did it feel, you know, kind of giving these important messages, knowing that, you know, you're not just here singing for fun, but you have a very powerful message coming across. Well, I felt happy so that I could express to the world, making people know what's important. And it was, it was pretty good. I felt brave, like it's for everyone to know what is important to life and so on. Okay, perfect. Now, guess what, listen, these again, there, I, I think I'm just so amazed by you all right now because your energy, nobody's shy here, even though they started off shy and we can see why they went up for the competition, but they want to treat you to a little teaser and it just shows the camaraderie because they actually want to sing a verse and chorus for you from the winner's song. So please, St. Lucia, if you didn't come out and support them and you missed that, as you can see, support is everything so just check this out <laughs> the energy and of course the message and what I love is that everybody's together you know nobody had an issue doing this and that was a very strong message and you could feel the passion so I'm gonna continue hanging out with them make sure again you keep on supporting not just the Vidbuter school but support the children and the youth in the things that they're doing because this is our future and clearly it's looking bright so uh, just tell everybody goodbye Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us, family. So I'm with Mr. Eldon Ford, who is a teacher here at the Vidbute Primary School. And some of you may be familiar with his face because he is definitely involved in music and singing. I know you from the National Youth Choir as well. So you, know, you have a very strong musical background and now you're also teaching. So first of all, welcome to the family and how are you feeling? Thank you very much. It's good to be here this morning. <laughs> Great. So of course, with um, Mr. Ford today, I want to just kind of pick your brain because now that you're in teaching but you've also been in music, you know, there's this synergy with education, though it may still be debated, but how music as well or being involved in that can also help just enhance not just your literacy but even develop other life skills that you need. So that's going to be our topic today. So what are your views on that? Well, the reality of it is you can teach anything using music, anything, literally anything. Music has science, math, English, biology, everything in it. Everything, everything, everything. Um, I usually, I actually do a lot of cross teaching in my lessons at the school here. I find myself teaching the children's concepts for the other stuff within my music, in my music class. So it's very important, very, very important to the development of Australia. Now, with that as well, because recently the Calypso competition was held and of course 
I mean, the bunch of children that you all had, just amazing from personalities to energy and then, of course, just their camaraderie. That was something that's very great to see. But, of course, you find sometimes when you have side activities like that, it doesn't get the support that you would like as opposed to if it was maybe a math competition or, you know, a spelling competition. But it's still just as important to have this kind of support even when it's something extracurricular. I'll tell you something, right? I would say music is the most important subject that does not get the attention that it needs. Because tell me one movie you can watch without music. Think about watching your movies, your favorite movies, without music. Think about your life on a day-to-day -day basis without music, right? Music is, in, is part of everything. It's, you feel it. Your body moves to a natural rhythm. Right? So it's in you, it's in everybody. So the notion that it's not important and that it always gets pushed aside, second class, mixed way for other things, when studies after study after study after study shows the efficacy and importance of music education, it's, I don't know, what exactly our policy makers have going on. <laughs> now, you know why I was really I really wanted to snag you with that question too because again you're coming from a musical background so now being able to teach you kind of have that fusion now even speaking to the kids they were talking about you know okay the nerves but then the preparation we had to be dedicated and you know so there were so many things they were saying that were just triggers for me and I'm like okay this is all what they learned and developed during this process of just preparing, learning songs, and then of course carrying out those strong messages as well. So, you know, for anybody out there right now who is watching, whether young, whether parent, whether other teachers as well, you know, what message would you want to leave for them, of course, in ways of just helping keeping teaching fun and creative and of course fusing music with that? Very short, support art education. All art. Support art education. Yes, I know academics are important, but they are nothing without the arts. They are nothing without the arts. I can say really and truly, all banks could close tomorrow. All banks could close tomorrow. And you would never need another banker in your life, but you'd always need a musician. So, on this note, St. Lucia, we're going to leave you pondering, we're going to leave you thinking. And remember, as Mr. Ford said, we need to support the arts education. So keep watching this morning as we keep highlighting our youth and what they're doing. And of course, the persons who are here trying to change the game and make literacy, reading, education fun. So thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Ford. My pleasure. <laughs>